Hey guys, it's Maddie, and today I'm going to be doing a reverse scam update, and I'll also be showing you some of my favorite things about decorating for Christmas. Oh, oh, ah, ah. So as you can see, here's my reborn, and uh, it doesn't look very different, and voila! Still the same scam with the ugly hair, so we're just going to keep that hat on, but... Um, lots of you guys have said we should just send it back and I'd love to do that because it's not what I asked for. Um, so, my mom has tried to contact them multiple times but they have not responded. So we can't really send it back because then we won't have the money and or the doll. And I mean, it would be good if we could get rerouted but still, the wedding drink isn't working so it's not even worth that. So here I am left with an unfinished reboard and the company has not contacted us. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm stuck with a reborn that I did not ask for. Well, let's put this unfinished reborn to the side because I'm not going to let it ruin my Christmas month. I love Christmas. Now let's move on to some of my favorite things about decorating for Christmas. I'm gonna start with my Christmas tree, which is behind me, and I'm gonna show some of my favorite ornaments. So here at the top of the tree, we have our beautiful angel. She usually doesn't have lights on her, but my mom's drawing some up on her, and I like it so much, it looks beautiful. We have a stocking for my cat, Nala, but she passed away. And then we have wings for my Oma, and the sad thing is she died last year and I'm really sad. I miss her a lot, but I still love her. She's always in my heart. And then we have my dog Bronx who also passed away a few years ago now. Here is my peacock Praline and she has a pretty long tail. And then there's another really long tail and this one's a deep purple. And this peacock is my mom's. She didn't name hers, but that's okay. She's still really pretty. Here is one of my all-time favorite ornaments. It is a hamster, and it does play music. Every year, my grandma gives me an ornament, and this was one of my first ones. And then also, we have Draculaura, and my grandma also gave me that one, I think when I was maybe in grade one. All right, and this is my favorite part about the hamster. It plays music. So you can see why I love my hamster ornament. And I've had it since I was two. And I'm surprised it still works because my cousin and me would push it like 52 times each. And I've had it for a long time and I usually press it all the time. So I'm surprised it still works. Oh, look at Maggie, she's all curled up in her bed. Well, it's actually not her bed. She's just using her older sister's bed, Sadie. That's her bed. So, there's kind of a difference, but she looks very cozy. Let me show you some other ornaments I love. And speaking of Maggie, we have a little ornament, well, not ornament, a little stocking for her that we hang on the tree. We have all of our dog's names, and we put them on little stockings and hang them on the tree every year. We have initials for each of our animals, and that Sadie is my bigger dog. Then we have ones for us too. That's my mom, that's me, and that's my dad. We like lots of birds on our trees, so we have those ones. We have these birds, and one of them has a longer tail, it's the pink one. Here's one of our pick me pop ornaments we made last year. This is also one of my favorites. It's actually my mom's and she's had it since she was younger. I just really like it. It looks very beautiful. Here is my angel and this one has my name on it so that's why I love it. And it kind of looks like me except I have shorter hair. This is one of, it's not really an ornament but we just hang it on the tree and this is a picture of my cousin Shay. She's in college now. 
another one of my favorites is this Mashi Shi. And they actually have two, but this is just the first one. Woo! He's really small though. And then we have a yarn ornament that I made at home. And we had how to make these in one of our videos. And then I also made one at school, and this one is huge. <laughs> I love these, they're little snowman balls, and we have a bunch of them on the tree. I remember the first day we were decorating, me and my mom, I just was rubbing it, and I was pretending I was giving it a shave because all of the little hairs were just falling off. Sock monkey! It's kind of hard to see, but this was one of my very first ornaments my grandma gave me. It's a Hello Kitty crystal. We actually do have a lot of homemade ornaments because we love making them and some I've actually made at school. This one is a light bulb ornament that I made at school in grade one. I'm not sure which year I made this one in. I think it might have been preschool. And then we have the matching brother to the Mashi Shi that was over there. This is the second one. And then we have more of the snowman balls all over the place. And then we have a bunch of little baby ones with my name on it. And then we have these two here. These are the same one. And they say my name. And then sometimes we don't actually make them, but my auntie, she gives me like these little, I don't know, tags on my gifts for Christmas. And we use them as ornaments because they're always really cute. This one that has the little socks and hat is that my Oma got me. And on the snowflake, it says, Baby's First Christmas. So I got that the year I was born. And then we have like this little spiky ball. And then we have a silly snowman. So that's how I decorate my Christmas tree. And there's lots of different ornaments on there that are really special to me. And we do have a mix in there. There's ones that people have given us that we bought and or that I've made. Leave me a comment down below. What's your type of favorite ornament? Ones that people give you, ones that you buy, or ones that you've made. So me and my mom love to decorate other places in the house. So here's a table. And then back there we have some lights and we have a whole bunch of decorations on this table. Oh, I'll show you my Santa pictures. This one right here was when I was six months old. I look so cute. My grandma used to call me Woodstock because my hair would stand up and my mom would always try and comb it down and put water and it would stay for maybe a second and then it would just go right back up. This one is when I was one and a half and you can see I don't look very happy. Uh, I did not want to sit on Santa's lap that year. I wanted my mom. This is when I was two and a half, and you can see I'm sitting on my mom's lap, and I still don't look very happy to see Santa. Here is when I was three and a half, and I look way happier to see Santa now. Here is in 2013, I would have been four and a half, and I was much happier to see Santa. And then in 2014, I would have been five and a half, and so I would have been in kindergarten, and I look happy again to see Santa. For these next ones, I look all very happy. Then there's grade one, 2015. Oh my gosh, I love that dress. Then we have grade two. Oh my gosh, my hair's so long. Oh, and here is 2017, grade three, yeah. So those are all my Santa pictures. Oh, the one from last year, my hair was really short and I still had braces. I am not used to seeing me like that. Well, my hair is still short, but it's at least down to like my shoulder. I'm trying to grow it out because I want longer hair and it's also good because if some of you guys don't know, I actually do dance and we need a bun and I have to wear a ponytail. <laughs> There's my other dog, Sadie. She looks so happy, doesn't she? Oh, and there's Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Hello. Hello. Hi. And there she goes again. And that's Sadie's bed that Maggie decided to steal. And you may have noticed this cute little puppy. This is my Elf on the Shelf's pet dog named Beethoven. 
because uh, there's actually a movie called Beethoven and there's a few different ones and I loved it and I thought this dog looked just like him because it's a St. Bernard so I named him Beethoven. Now let me go show you where my other elf's pet is. Speaking of other elves on the shelves, I'll show you where they've hidden and their other pet. I'll start with their other pet first. Here he is. Well, she. They're all girls. This is a wreath I made at school and it's made of materials and I did this in grade one. And inside is Jingles. It's their pet reindeer. I'll put that one up. Here's Jingles. Now you can see her so much better. And she's wearing some cutie little boots. Now let's see where my elves are. Oh, here, I'll show you the elf babies while I'm here. So here's two of my adorable elf babies. And they have little costumes on. This one is a girl and this one is a boy. I still haven't named them yet. Oh my gosh, silly me. Aren't they adorable? And now it's time for my elves. They're all the way up here. Here's Ruby, she was my very first elf on the shelf. Here's Jack, he was my third elf on the shelf and I have no idea what he is wearing. He's wearing some type of PJs and a scarf that does not go with his outfit. And finally we have Snowella and she was my second elf on the shelf. And these are my other elves and they're hanging on this ladder. We have a whole bunch of different candy canes. These are raspberry flavored. These are Sour Patch Kid flavored. I love these ones. Here's cherry and all the way back here's peppermint. And then we have some napkins. So there's LPS and then some monkeys. Those are just left over from old birthdays. Then we have a little Snoopy stuffy and he plays music. I love him. It was Jingle Bells, one of my fave songs. Then we have this little felt house. I love it, it's so cute. And there's even characters. Here's a snowman, a reindeer, Christmas tree, two elves, and a gingerbread house. Then from Charlie Brown's Christmas, we have his little tree that he brought. And then we have Linus's blanket. I couldn't think of his name. And then there's the one ornament. Then we have this little snowman. And this is a paper mache one, and I made this. So my mom's filming this because I couldn't manage to do the camera and show this cute little paper mache snowman at the same time. So I made this snowman in 2014, and it has my writing on it. And um, yeah, that's my name. <laughs> it is very messy and uh, I don't know why there's a heart above the A. And then at the bottom, it says Christmas 2014. And that's obviously my mom's writing because, I mean, how could this writing go from so messy to then so neat? So um, that was my writing in 2014. And I did make these for all my grandparents. We just kept this one. I have my fun word, Fafa, that's on my dad's side. Um, Oma and Opa and Grandma and Grandpa, which is on my mom's side. And we gave them all one and they all loved it. And I knitted this scarf by hand. And remember, we do it every night and I was not happy. I'm like, no, it's too hard. But I got it through and then, hey, look at this. It's great looking. I'm so proud of myself. Now I'm gonna read you the poem. Here's a happy little snowman, especially for you. Homemade with love, paper mache, paint, buttons, and glue. Along with the warm finger knit scarf I made for him too. All with a wish for Christmas joy to last all the year through. Gosh, that last part always messes me up. The little writing is pretty small. I don't have a problem with the writing. It's just I haven't read it in a long time. So here we have a snowman that lights up and the lights are pretty flashy. And then over here we have the elf's blankets. So this is our girls. It says baby elf and it has pink 
and purple on it. And there's a cute reindeer dressed up as Santa. And then we have our boy elf. And this one also says baby elf. And it's green and it has little elves on it. And then over here we have baby elf and it has a little soother on it. And then same with the boy. Again, the colors are different. And this is what my elves use to, yeah, cause mischief. So here is lots of the stuff it comes with. Let me know if your guys' elves have crazy stuff like this too. And then I have uh, a little case and this has some outfits that the baby elves have changed into and it comes with one for each of them. So this is one of my favorite things we have. It's a little, they're little birds and they spin around and it's from the heat going up and it makes them spin around and it's so pretty. My mom had one of these when she was younger except it was angels and they had little horns and the horns would hit the centerpiece and would make this really light dinging sound. And I was thinking about it when she told me and I was thinking, gosh, I wish we still had that because that sounds so cool. But we've got a birdie one and I still love it. So satisfying. I could watch it for hours. Oh, I forgot, I gotta show you my whapping canes. This way. Oh, hello, Miss Maggie. Oh, hello, little puppy. I gotta go now, Maggie. So before I show the wrapping canes, we have some stick on for the window. It's Charlie Brown and the Christmas tree that I was showing you. Then we have Woodstock. Um, gosh, what is her name? Lucy. Lucy, I thought it was that. And then we have Linus, whose name I was struggling on to find what his blanket was. And then we have Snoopy. Hi, Sadie. Hello, Miss Puppy. Hi. So back to my wrapping canes. You could be wondering, but this is just a candy cane. Nope, oh, my cousin and me, uh, we literally grabbed one and we hit each other with the cane. I'm surprised that they still look fine since me and my cousin have been hitting each other with these since we were two. And there was two of them. There's also one right here, so we each got one to whap each other with. So, yeah, surprise they still last from all those lovely years. Oh, it's stuck on the door, that's fine. On my door! I love this, it's Little Bells, and we usually keep this on our front door, and um, last year I put it on my door. I know it's not on my door, so I'm kind of sad, but it's bound. It's kind of ear piercing, but it's very pretty. The last thing I'm going to show you is my Christmas calendars. The first one we have is a Santa one, and you put a candy cane in it, and right now I'm on the 9th, because that's today, and then it goes all the way down and all the way back up until the 25th. I've always loved this. And finally, my favorite, my chocolate advent calendar. I just love to have a chocolate first thing in the morning for 24 days. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching some of my favorite things about Christmas. Make sure you leave a comment down below what's your favorite thing about Christmas. I'd love to hear it. And I'll keep you updated if anything else happens about our Scammed Reborn. Bye guys, see you next time. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like.
We go banana.